just trying to uh, get these tiles to fit on a round house, which is it's very uh, awkward because there's got a small circumference in the center and a big circumference around the bottom. So what we devised is that we can, we've measured out about 25 tiles around the top and we have found the maximum spacing that we need from here to here is about 80 centimeters, which we've measured from laying these out and with a tile, which is a little bit bigger than this, one that can fit in between these quite easily. So this is our uh, determining factor of how far this primary channel, and then we're gonna make another primary channel which will go all the way along here, up to the top. And then in between that, Brian might be able to tell you what he's been doing. He's been on the roof. So in between those is a, are some of these. Um, making a channel and uh, you know, on the top of the round ones to protect it. And then uh, it goes up so far when it gets narrower and narrower. So when you can't uh, put a channel in any further, um, the two the main channels go up the side and one ends and then you just cap it. You basically cap it like this here. So you've got a wide upper piece um, covering the end of one of the channels and then we put some plug in the end so the wind uh, rain doesn't go up, up there. So you're building from the bottom up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just put them on top, it seems to be easier that way. And, uh, and where'd you put the pug? The pug stuffed in here, here. You sit down on it, block it like that basically. There's also some pub on the sides here to, to uh, anchor the bottom parts. And we'll also put some pug under these as well. So these at the bottom needs to be need to be fixed really well. So we'll pack a lot of pug in here. And we'll also probably put a little bit of pug in here just to stop this from slipping. So a bit of extra strength and uh, stability. Yeah, we're learning. Each time we do it, we're learning uh, variations. So. Cool. It's all, it's all good fun. <laughs>